Hi, I'm Sorrel, plant spirit medicine woman, and I am a medical herbalist, a shamanic practitioner, and a kakarista. And today I'm going to show you how to create a mandala ceremony. We are going to begin our mandala by finding a beautiful sacred space to work in. This could be your local beach, a forest, a garden, somewhere where you feel safe and connected to nature. You're connected to the elements. Mandalas are a way of communicating with spirit in its own language, in the language of symbols. And we might have a message that we want to share with spirit. We might have a message of gratitude or we might be asking for something a request for healing for yourself or for someone else, a request for the resolution of a problem, uh, or perhaps a dream that you're wishing to manifest. You might want to create your dream in symbolic language as a message to spirit, a letter to spirit, so that spirit knows what you're asking for and can weave your reality into being. To create your mandala, there's some simple steps that we need to take. First of all, you need to find a space to create your mandala. It might be a beautiful beach like this, it might be a place in a forest, or it could be your garden. And I want you to be working with natural materials if you're working outside so that you are not creating any pollution in any way. You are going to need to create a circle to begin with to hold the space and to represent the outer universe. And within that space, represent the four directions and the elements in some way. And then within that circle, you can create your message in symbolic language. And so I'm going to guide you through a mandala that I have tuned into, a vision that I've had that I want to create today. And once I've created it, I'll guide you through the symbolic meaning of what I have created. Now we've created our circle, it's time for us to represent the four directions. It's a bit windy for smudge, so I'm going to be using incense sticks and hope they stay alight. And we're going to give it a go and we're going to place them in the north, the south, the east, the west to represent our friends in the four directions. The next thing I'm going to do is lay a circle of corn around the circle as an offering to spirit and also in protection of the space. Now we're going to call in the seven directions to create sacred space for our ceremony. Beloved spirits of the East, we welcome you. We welcome the dawn, the rising sun, this new day, this opportunity to rebirth ourselves, to begin again. And we welcome in the spirit of Eagle and Condor who help us to fly high, carrying our prayers into the heavens so they may be answered. We welcome you. Beloved spirits of the south, we welcome you. We welcome the water, the flow of life, the day and the warmth of the noon sun. We welcome our teacher, Snake, who teaches us how to shed the past the way that she sheds her skin and to walk softly upon the earth the way that she does, heartbeat to heartbeat with our mother. We welcome you. Beloved spirits of the West, we welcome you. We welcome the dusk and the setting sun. We welcome the earth and the fertility of life. And we celebrate this harvest, how far we've already come with great gratitude in our hearts. And we welcome in Mama Jaguar, who teaches us how to be brave warriors, to face our shadows, weaving them into the light for integration and healing. Beloved ones, we welcome you a whole. Connecting in with our beloved spirits of the north, we welcome you. We welcome the night and the bright moon shining, the air and clarity of thought. 
We welcome our ancestors, those who have passed before us, but those who are also yet to be born, we welcome you. Help us to know our place in this timeline of evolution on the, on the earth today, to know our place as earth keepers, to protect this earth. We also welcome in the spirit of hummingbird. Teach us how to trust the path, to trust the journey, knowing that we'll come home to the dream that we're daring to dream. Beloved ones, we welcome you. Connecting in with the earth beneath our feet, we welcome Mama Earth and we welcome all our earth relations. We welcome the plant people, the stone people, the animals, the furry, the feathered, the thin ones, the creepy crawly ones and the slithery slimy ones. We even welcome in the viruses, the mushrooms and the bacteria. We welcome you all. Thank you for joining us in this ceremony today. And we tune in to Father Sky who's wrapping his loving arms around us protecting Mother Earth and all her children. We thank you for the breath of life, the winds of change, the blue skies and the grey. And we call upon Grandmother Moon, Grandfather Sun and the Star Nations to protect our medicine space and watch over us today. We welcome you and we welcome Great Spirit. You have a thousand names yet are still the unnameable one. We welcome you to our medicine space today. Please hear our prayers that we are sending out and our gratitude too. We welcome you. That's a Mayan medicine wheel prayer that I'm sharing with you. You may have a different way of opening your medicine space. It's nice to offer something in words and you can even do it silently. No need to speak out loud if you feel a little bit overlooked and would rather keep your prayers within. So now we're going to begin to create the mandala itself, the beautiful picture that I'm offering today. First thing we're going to do is the hand of Hamza. nearly done. I've created the shape, I've filled it in and I'm just going to lay a final offering with three leaves. When we do this in Central and South America we can use coca leaf and the three leaves represent the three levels of our spiritual experience working with the middle realm, the upper realm and the lower realm and the weaving of these three realms together. And so we can't get hold of coca leaves in this country because they're considered an A-class drug. And we're going to use bay leaves instead as this representation. And we're just offering a prayer of thanks and gratitude and asking that our dreams manifest. And then I'm going to lay them in each of the four directions and the center as well. So coming always working in the clockwise direction so we keep the energy flowing laying them in the east choosing three of my best leaves
So let me guide you through why I've created my mandala in this particular shape. Everything is a representation, a symbol that I am offering to spirit as a message. The hand shape is the uh, hand of Hamza, which is a protection symbol, a very ancient protection symbol. And right in the center of that, there's also the eye, which is uh, the eye of Horus, which is another symbol of protection. Right in the center of that is a little stone, which I've been working with for quite a while. This is a, uh, a representation of the place that I would like to manifest. I would like to manifest my next sacred home, which will be amongst the trees, which is why we've got all this greenery within that sacred eye space as a symbol of the protection, the protection of the forest around me. The iris of the eye is made from cacao beans because Mama Cacao has been such an amazing teacher for me and she helps me to see with clarity. So she's representing the clarity that I am asking for as well so that I can find my sacred home. The lavender, which is the outside of the eye, also representing the uh, ability to manifest a calm space, lavender being a wonderful calming energy. And the two herbs that are woven into the eye is wormwood, mug, which is a type of artemisia similar to mugwort, which helps with dreaming and visioning and also protection. And the rosemary as well is a symbol of remembrance, connection to our ancestors and also another protecting herb. The heart shape in the middle is made from beautiful flowers that I've gathered from the garden. Many of them are yarrows. Yarrow is a wonderful herb of protection as well and also helps us to heal from the trauma that we've experienced in the past. We have calendula flowers, which are my favorite flowers as they saved my life many, many years ago when I was struggling with a digestive problem. They helped to heal that digestive disorder. We have the daylily right at the top of the heart, which is representing the cycle of the day because they only last a full day, keeping us in connection to the cosmic cycles within the universe that we are within. And also some beautiful roses representing that connection to love. And obviously the heart symbol itself, connecting us to our hearts and love. Everything that we manifest, I want to uh, manifest through love. The hand shape itself, is made out of uh, shells which represent the fragility of our experience of existence on earth in human form and also the gratitude of the hand that I've been dealt this lifetime. I am very aware how blessed I am, how lucky I am to live in this part of the world and to have experienced the journey that I've been on so far. Uh, always having a roof over my head, always having food in my body, and Mama Earth's really taken amazing good care of me. I've never uh, really lacked for much in my life and being truly grateful for that, but also aware that the hand that we've been dealt can crash and crumble and is very fragile. At any moment, all of this could be taken away from us, not just me in a personal way, but all of us because of the destruction that we have been reaping through the world and how fragile nature is and that we really do need to take care of it because part of this manifestation is that I want a piece of land that I can take care of as well. So it's not just that I am asking to go to a place to take from, but equally I want to nurture and care for and rewild a space. So giving it back to the earth as a wild space, bringing back biodiversity into our planet. Uh, the only thing that hasn't worked today for our ceremony has been the lighting of the incense. Unfortunately, the lighter just does not want to work in this wind. And so the incense will be coming home with me so that it doesn't become litter. And uh, other than that, everything is going to stay in place. The tide will come in in quite a number of hours. It's actually still leaving. So it's going to be back about probably about uh, six hours time. This will dissolve into the space into the ocean and Mama Ocean will take it away and wash our prayers out to sea. And maybe one day you will find me in my home that I've manifested from this mandala ceremony.
So before we leave, we're going to close the ceremonial space with the rattle. And I'm going to say goodbye to all our friends in the seven directions and thank them for joining us today for our ceremony. And thank you for joining me today for this ceremony too. Let's find the rattle. thank our spirits of the east. We thank the dawn, the rising sun, the fire, the new beginning. And we thank the spirit of eagle and condor for joining us in ceremony today as we release you home. We thank the spirits of the south, the water, the flow of life, the day, the warmth, this beautiful sun at the noon. And we also thank Mama Snake for joining us in ceremony today and release you home. We thank our beloved spirits of the West. We thank the earth, the fertility of life, the dusk, the setting sun, and we offer gratitude for everything that we have received this life so far. And we also thank Mama Jaguar for joining us today and for protecting our medicine space and helping us to be brave warriors as we face our shadows, integrating them into the light, a whole as we really shoot. Connecting in with our beloved spirits in the North, Thank you for joining us in ceremony today. Thank you to the night, the bright moon shining, the air and clarity of thought. We thank our ancestors and we thank Hummingbird. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone in the four directions and all of the elements. We thank you and release you. Coming down to Mama Earth, connecting in with all our Earth relations. We thank the plant people, the stone people. We thank the creatures of the world, the furry, the feathered, the fin ones, the creepy crawly ones, the slithery slimy ones, the viruses, the mushrooms, the bacteria. Thank you all. May we have a new relationship with you, a harmonious relationship once again. Please teach us your ways to live in harmony. We release you. And we thank Father Sky. Thank you for wrapping your loving arms of protection around us today for this beautiful blue sky. We thank you for the breath of life and the winds of change. We release you. And we thank Grandmother Moon, Grandfather Sun, the Star Nations and all of our cosmic relations. We thank you and release you and Great Spirit. <sighs> thank you for this matrix and for our life herein. And we release you from today's ceremony. And we release you from today's ceremony too. Thank you for joining me.